I didn't. I never went to music university or took any classes really. I t actually no. I took a few classes over my life, but I didn't go to school for music. So for me, the whole period of my life when I was in that many bands was for me almost the same as going to school, because I was around just amazing musicians and learning a lot. My dad never sat me down and taught me how to do anything. Um, and I think my, my parents were hippies and they really wanted me to be able to decide on my own what I wanted to do. Soul or hip hop, which one do you choose? I would choose soul, just because I feel like that encompasses all different types of styles. When I was a teenager, hip hop was like, I was really into it. You know, there's an era when I was buying a bunch of CDs right the day they came out. But the more I look back and find new music as I get older, I like the older stuff, 60s and 70s, 80s, <laughs> soul music, funk music. If you had to indicate like the most important music uh, influences on you, what would that be? I'd say the top four are. I, I have to. I have to say my dad, but mostly because I grew up going to his concerts. And grew grew up around a lot of improvisation. Uh, Stevie Wonder, because of just playing all the instruments, kind of like having the whole thing in your head and trying to create your own world of sound. I was on my way to see you. Jay Dilla is my favorite producer. Uh, just all around, I think he's made the best beats in the history of, of hip hop. I said four, didn't I? Oh, Herbie, Han Herbie Hancock. <laughs> I think me and my dad are pretty similar personality wise in that we, we're not very talkative. We're more like the ob observational type, you know? Before the show, you have like the beats and the chords in your mind, and the rest is improvised on spot, right? No, I don't. I don't. You know, before a tour, all I do is I get some drum samples together, and I, you know, I'm always practicing keys, so there might be certain chord changes that I've been messing around with, and uh, maybe I have pieces in my head. But the way I put it together in the show is, is improvised. Like there's no. You know, every single show on this tour has been totally different. I'm, my, when my album comes out, I'm gonna, I'm trying to put together a band to actually perform the album. But um, for right now, it's, a, it's an improv show. Like the sound check was, I was, you know, I don't even know what I did. <laughs> and so I saved it though, so I can go back and listen. Mm -hmm. 